Great. Well, next up, Fritz, we're going to talk about a network virtualization technology called OpenFlow. We have the guys from Big Switch here, but why don't you tee it up? Yeah, so I mean, as, as we move to the cloud, and, and especially private clouds with lots of uh, server virtualization, we want to move more of the power into the hands of the, of the administrator. And so OpenFlow is one of these new standards around software-defined networks. And um, we're going to hear a little bit more about that from Omar Baldonado, who's the head of product management for Big Switch. He's with our own Art Women at the whiteboard. We're going to take a nice in-depth look at OpenFlow. Take it away, Art. Okay, thanks Fritz. Uh, sorry I didn't get the memo on the purple shirts. I'll do better next time. Um, so OpenFlow, you've probably seen these bumper stickers running around on every Prius in the Valley. And so we're going to talk about why that's important. And so before we get into why OpenFlow is a big deal, what's wrong with the way we've been doing networking for the past 35 years or so? You know, it's amazing actually what's, what we've been able to accomplish but with the network. But uh, what we really need is a new level of innovation. And let me explain a little bit why. Um, the network is, is feeling the, the strain. So if I just drop a simple network here, it's amazing the, the amount of applications that we've put on here, right? So here's a network. I've, back 20 years ago, email was probably the primary application on it. And then we, we introduced the web. Uh, and along with the web came e-commerce and voice and video came uh, so, uh, shortly thereafter. Now we've got social networking. Now, most recently, uh, you know, as we heard Aaron say, everyone wants to be mobile, right? So every, every application's got to be mobile, and there's this whole proliferation of uh, mobile applications. Uh, so all these applications are trying to use the network. There's a lot of innovation, a lot of stuff going on over here. But the network is largely managed and configured in the same way as it has been for the last 20 years. There's some poor administrator out there that's seeing, oh, there's a new application coming on. I need to update this over here and this over here. And this network it could be tens of thousands of uh, networking devices out there that someone's trying to manually configure. Okay, so then the solution is? Since we well, I love OpenFlow, right, so as the sticker says, okay. but uh, more generally, we're talking about software-defined networking. Right. And what, where that starts is having, in each of these networking devices, having an API. And an API that makes the network programmable. Sounds simple, but we haven't had that until now. And then once you have this API, you can have a layer of software above that. We call it a controller. And the controller is going to be talking down and pushing instructions in real time down to the network. Uh, and this is the, the layer that uh, my company, Big Switch, happens to make. Once you have this layer of software that's controlling the whole un hardware underneath, you can then imagine applications being built on top. Um, and this is one of the reasons we're so excited about software-defined networking and OpenFlow, is it brings this model of layers of uh, programmable hardware and operating system and apps, this sort of horizontalization that we've talked about, and it brings it to the networking industry, which we've not had until now. Okay, so maybe it would help to talk about what some of these apps might be. Sure, sure. So um, you, you might imagine uh, different services being deployed to the network, like firewalling, VPNs, um, isolation. I want, let's, well, here are the apps on the network, right? Uh, web, uh, e-commerce, social and they're needing to program the network. So I can have an application that would program the network to support uh, different groups that need to talk to each other securely. Uh, I might need credit card transactions that need to be secure and isolated from the rest of the network. Um, the Internet of Things. I have, uh, we were talking to a, a medical uh, facility that has heart pumps on the network. Those things have got to be secure too. Okay, so if I'm a, a firewall maker or maybe a load balancer maker, this seems like it might be a threat to my business. So how, how do you answer that? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, as more people have looked at this, at this technology, I think that what they're seeing is a lot of opportunity, right? So rather than trying to, to just have this layer down here to program, they can now write applications even at this top layer. So if I'm a firewall company, as you're saying, I can, I can choose to write very specialized hardware down here that's doing very fast firewall processing, or I can write an application that's working across the whole network uh, it's just another opportunity for them to, uh, to put in their value. Okay, so maybe an example uh, that might be in an in enterprise data center might help us here. Sure, sure. So in a data center can have thousands of servers connected up to the network. And, and the thing that's really kind of turned on uh, people to OpenFlow is that those thousands of servers can now be tens of thousands of virtual network, uh, virtual machines. 
server virtualization is taken off. So when I've got this, uh, uh, this network of uh, machines hooked up, now I've got, let's say, different groups that need to talk to each other. I've got red uh, servers and green servers that all need to talk to each other. They can all move around the network. They can all move around the network, and there are thousands and tens of thousands of them. The poor network administrator is sitting there going, okay, red is over here now. Well, wait a minute. Red moved over here. Green moved over there. And we're talking tens of thousands of things that uh, they have to track. Uh, with, with OpenFlow and software-defined networking, this becomes pretty straightforward because I've got this controller software layer that's figuring out, okay, these are, this is kind of the, the virtual network um, on top of the, the, bo the, uh, the physical network. And I've got these green servers that need to talk to each other. And it's a very straightforward problem for software to go program the network so that the reds can talk to the reds and the greens can talk to the greens. It's just like actually social, social networking, right? It's a very straightforward pro problem. Everyone thinks, okay, I should be able to talk to these folks, but not to these folks. I should, I should see updates from reds, but not from greens. Uh, it's hard to do that in the network today, but with open flow and software-defined networking, it's really easy to do. Okay, that's great. So if people are interested in learning more, uh, can you give us a couple websites to look at quickly? Oh, absolutely. Um, my company, uh, bigswitch.com. Uh, there's information about network virtualization and some of the technology that we're bringing to market. Uh, there's even an open source site, OpenFlow, uh, OpenFlowHub.org. Uh, and you can even download some of the software and play with it. If you put in an email to us, you can even get one of those stickers. Great. Thanks, Omar. And we'll turn it back to Fritz.